having a girls day and we are gonna go look at some animals right ladies let's yeah, get yeah. in formation yeah see ya jeez Avery <laughs> Tell me yeah. about your disposable camera. It smells <laughs> <laughs> <was> like. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Avery, it smells fine. That. Um, these birds are flightless due to injuries that resulted in. These birds are flightless due to injuries that resulted in permanent disability. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, which way? Which way? Which way? Oops. <laughs> a little scenic viewpoint of the great old Pacific Northwest. Oh, hell yeah! Look, you can see the cars over there. Stay tuned for a little vehicle tour. We're just walking along and peek into the bushes and what do we see but a sleeping bear. Like literally just <laughs> sleeping up against rocks, trees. Oh. I see some movement. This is where we live. Oh here he's sleeping from a different angle. Oh, where? Right there. In the tree. I see, I hear it. It's like a little baby. Like Gray wolf. It's a laying in the sun. Can you imagine it's like a regular wolf? Hey, that's a rare That's a rare That's the noise I feel like it should be making the sun just glowing off. It's a white little coat. He really looks like Kai. Little Kai baby. Wonder if there is more than one in here. If he's just lone wolf. What does the sign say? Cooters and lynx. Oh my. <laughs> Right here. It's like a real life game of I Spy, oh, seriously. <laughs> a fox, if you look ever so closely, see a tip of an ear. Oh. This little boy told me if I yell like he yelled, the fox will come right up to me, so. Oh! <laughs> no, it did not work. Oh! Yeah, I told him he was a fox whisperer because it's not working for me. It, it worked. There's one that's up now over off oh, to no, the I see side. That I'm not even pointing at it. Aww. The magic song. Oh, 
That was it. Ah. Oh. Well, look. I see that one way better than I see the one up there. Ooh, we got some red huckleberries. Every race. On your mark, get set, go! Woo! Right, and this one we have a little Canadian lynx. Yeah, right up front. <laughs> yeah, you see oh, there it? he is. Oh, yeah. Licking his little feet. <laughs> you really need a. Ooh. You really <laughs> getting in there. Cougar can jump higher than any other mammal. It can also leap over 20 feet vertically from a stationary position. And this fence is not 20 feet from a stationary position. Five bucks to whoever can spot a cougar. Also, is that a big chunk of meat bones hanging, hanging, hanging from the trees? Because I think it is. It looks like there was meat on there. All right, I think I maybe found the cougar. Let's take it in a little bit. This like mass of brown behind this tree. I saw a little twitch up top, so I thought that was the ear, but like I seriously think, oops, 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 where'd it go? That looks like a sleeping cougar. Like if I saw that in the woods, I probably wouldn't get any closer. Over here we got the badger exhibit. Safari time! Nobody's wearing their seatbelt. Adam, don't scream at them. Don't honk your horns or anything. That's not going to bring the animals closer to you. That's going to make them want to run away. What's another name for an animal's home that you might be able to think of that's also an H word? Habitat! Habitat! Well, it's probably gonna be Hell. habitat. So do you ever really look at our woodland themselves, but for bugs, bacteria, bats, bears, bighorn sheep, and even human beings. Cute. In architecture, the keystone is placed in the center of an arch and holds up oh, most of the weight. It's been rolling around. The bison wallace. The bulls use their horns and hooves to bust up that ground and make that nice big patch. Nice For a good hunk of deer, they usually just... <laughs> ...tedious neighbors that need to wrap the packaging of our planting and stuff like that, but there's still things we can do to help prevent conflict with deer and we can do it on the outside. It. As keen as the big horns are, their coat, which they're shedding off now during the winter time from stand temperatures of about negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and their hooves are elk blending so well. In 2016, the bison became the national mammal of the United States. And not only are they a pointed symbol of our Western <laughs> heritage and of our strength as a people, they're also a prime example of what happens when folks come together on behalf of wildlife, doing their best to rebuild that archway and to put the keystone, the bison, back where they were. moving around a lot. And over on our right hand side here, folks, also greatly Dang, abundant on Vancouver Island. Dang, what big antlers you have. Also here in Washington, you'll find the slightly if you look at the antlers of these males, you'll notice that they're not exactly, you know, the nice bone white that you might notice um, with the shed antlers is that, that are lying fucking, around here. Is that an antler? That's because the antlers are currently or still in velvet. Velvet is a uh, blood rich tissue piece. that helps preserve and try to rub it off on rocks, on trees, on stumps, and sometimes even carve it. Over here we got our bald eagle duo. I love bald eagles. I happen to think that bald eagles and seeing them in the wild is good luck. And seeing them not in the wild is also good luck. Double good luck. <laughs> oh, <ow. laughs> Nest girls. <laughs> eagle nest girls. <laughs> Well, if you look, oh, look at her wing. And then also, if you look closely, there's a white rat. 
What? A white rat on that log that she's on. <laughs> there it is. Oh, a rat. Uh huh. And that's how. That's how they got brought in here. Cool. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them in here. So cool. We were in here. We happened to be left in. He's about to do a little upchuck over there. We a little one of these owl there. pellet. Hey, I dissected one of those. Somebody woke up. This having himself a little peaceful forest meditation. Um, he looks so like stout and little.